Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Pokemon Stadium Round 2. So last time, we took on Sabrina at the Saffron Gym. We were able to clear the Saffron Gym and earn the Marsh Badge in our last epi episode. Today, we're going to take on Blaine and his three trainers, the Judo Boy, the Nerd, and the Psychic. So with that being said, let's go ahead and pick our team and then we'll get started. Please stay with us. Alright guys, we have our team, and notice I have Slowpoke on this team. And you'll see why as we go through this. Alright, first up we have the Judo Boy. And look at this move set on Slowpoke. Surf, Psychic, Amnesia, and Thunder Wave. I definitely wish this was slow, bro, but if you're able to um, utilize this moveset correctly with slow poke, um, it can actually be pretty good. Uh, so we'll open up with slow poke. I want to follow up with Golduck and I think we'll finish with Graveler. I'm gonna have a slow team. But I'm definitely gonna try to give this a go with Slowpoke. We're gonna go for Thunder Wave right away. And then go for Amnesia right afterwards. Amnesia in Gen 1 basically calm mind. Special, special covers offense and defense. Alright, we get thrashed. Alright, let's go for Psychic. It should do a lot of damage. Oh, and Slowpoke got a crit. Wow, it didn't get a one shot. Ugh. Ooh, 6 HP. Slowpoke's gonna win this round. Yeah, that was nice. So Primeape goes down. We'll see who the Judo Boy's second Pokemon is. Marowak. And we can't, we can't, uh, we cannot go for Thunder Wave on it, so he might as well go for Surf right away. He's gonna give us these first turns for free, so we might as well take full advantage of it. Oh! Ah! We got screwed by the almighty 1 HP. We do get critted by Earthquake, by the way. But at least we've got Golduck. So that definitely helps with the speed advantage. I don't think I've ever seen a Slowpoke crit twice in one match, let alone once. I mean, that was just incredible. Oh, another crit! <laughs> Everybody's critting like a boss in this match. I love it. I love it. I mean, it's the seven gym. We're coming out with these heavy attacks early. Okay, eradicate. Okay, we've got Graveler. So at least we can guard against Double Edge. All right, Golda, let's get it. Let's get another crit. Seventy-eight. I don't know if another round of surf is gonna knock it out. Oh, hyper beam! It's gonna have to recharge. Yeah, we're going down. Crit. 
Come on, Graveler, take this one home. Take this one home like you did against Mew. Unfortunately, we can't self-destruct since we're on our last Pokemon. But at least it'll have to recharge, and it might... Ugh. It might go for Dig if it's got it. Yes! We move on! Finally, we get a first round victory on the first try in one of these gyms. Man, that's exciting. Oh, man. That's great. That is fantastic. Although, one slight oversight on my part is that we have two water types on the team. Didn't realize that going into Slowpoke. I was just excited to pick Slowpoke as one of my mons. But that's okay, as we get ready to challenge the uh, Super Nerd. Yeah, this team likes to explode. So that's something that we're really going to have to watch out for. Mmm. Okay. Ooh, Machamp has Fire Blast. That could definitely help against Executor. And it's got Dig, which will help against Muck. Um, honestly, this is a tough one to call. But I'm thinking... Slowpoke, Graveler, and Machamp. Alright, here we go. Okay, Kalalala Loyster is here. All right, let's go for Thunder Wave. Yeah, he's gonna blow up. I was concerned about switching to Gla to Graveler and having him use a Water Move on me. That's why I stayed in with Slowpoke. Obviously, that did not pay off. Both these Pokemon are slow. So here's where I feel more comfortable switching to Graveler. And then hopefully it'll explode. And I can be up by one. Yes, perfect. Wow! Even that did almost half. Thankfully this time he won't be able to explode. <laughs> Alright, he's putting in Executor. I think I want to do a self-destruct on my own. Mega Drain, we're going to be too slow. Man, this is a tricky one. We're down to the last Pokemon. There's just one Pokemon aside now. All right, Fire Blast. The battle is coming right down to the one. Ooh, Egg Bomb. I'll take that over Psychic. A decent hit. We got to hit every single one of our Fire Blasts. Wow. Perfect day. Oh, man, that's awful. That damage output is terrible. Uh, let's go for Karate Chop. Alright, another Egg Bomb. Which can miss. I think we can survive two more rounds of Egg Bomb. We'll see. Even Karate Chop. Its damage output is not all that great either. This is going to come down to the wire. Let's go for Fire Blast again. Come 
Come on, let's get a crit. Yeah. If we get hit one more time, we're gonna lose this. Come on, miss this. Miss it. Let's try it again. <clears throat> Uh, this time I want to start with Raichu. Again, we're going to put in Graveler. And I'm going to put in Dodrio. So I'm making two substitutions. Ooh, he's going to put in Golem. So Golem might explode. I'm going to put in Graveler. <laughs> The question is, will Graveler be able to withstand an explosion from Golem? So the question here is that, is it going to go for Mega Drain, or is it going to go for Explosion? I'm going to switch to Dodrio. Oh god, I'm hoping for Mega Drain. And he's gonna switch again! Ooh, we can substitute this. We might be in a better situation than I thought. Rock Slide. All right, let's try another sub. Another rock slide. All right, I'm gonna switch to Graveler. <laughs> wow, this fight looks completely different from the first fight. Explosion, perfect. We suckered him in. Yes! That only did up to 64 HP. Yes, we suckered it in. Executor. This is where we gotta be careful. Now I need to switch to Dodrio. Now that that happened with Golem, it makes me wish that I didn't do the second sub when I did. Okay, Mega Drain, that's great. Oh, we get critted. That's not good. That's gonna take me out of substitute range, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go up into the air. Uh, Egg Bomb. Good news is, if I hit, I'll do some super effective damage. The bad news is, I'm gonna go right into an egg bomb. The super effective. I only did 92. There it goes. That's, a good hit. That's it. <laughs> oh, is it down and out? Definitely gonna keep Graveler out of this. Is coming out. And Raichu is not a good matchup. I could Thunder Wave Executor and hope he gets fully paralyzed. And then he might explode on me that way. If he's able to get fully paralyzed and I'm able to switch into Graveler. Yeah, that's not happening. I'm stuck with a Graveler at half health. Of 
I want to see his third one. Gengar. We could still win this. It'll depend on what movie he uses. Oh, it's going for Skull Bash! It doesn't even have all that great of an attack stat. Oh, so he's got no choice but to go for Skull Bash. I think we got this. Yeah, man, that was excellent. I love that. Yes, yes. So we'll win our second try with the nerd. We make our way halfway through the Cinnabar Gym, and we'll be moving on. I think the Super Nerd also appears in, uh, in Petite Cup as well. The trick with him is that all his Pokemon know how to use Explosion and Self-Destruct, so you gotta watch out for that. Um, number three is gonna be the Psychic. Ooh. So as you would expect, four out of six are going to be psychic type. Definitely starting with Slowpoke. Definitely going to put in Raichu. And then putting in Dodrio to deal with Alakazam. I need a physical attack. <laughs> Ooh, Slowpoke versus Slowbro. I think Slowbro may be faster. Amnesia. We can put up our own amnesia to block his special boost. They're both being cautious. The combatants face each other. It's pumped up in special rating. What now? The attack wasn't effective. What a furious battle. I'm gonna do another amnesia. This will put me at four stages of special. Fully paralyzed, great. Great. I'm gonna max out my amnesia. Okay, we're down by 70 on the HP. I think now's the time to start attacking. Oh man. That was pretty bad. I don't think we're gonna win this exchange. Oh! Got a special down, that's great. What's next? The attack wasn't effective. The heated battle rages on. It's a psychic war right now. What's this? Oh, another special down. Two in a row. And he's just gonna build it back up. Did 30 that time. Earthquake. What now? Oh, this guy had a trick up his sleeve, huh? What a furious battle. I got a trick up mine as well. I'm gonna put in Dodrio to guard against Earthquake. Or he's gonna go for Psychic. Yeah. That did not work. The next Pokemon is being Stead Dojo gets destroyed. Oh, it's Raichu. It has to make up for lost Thankfully, with Raichu, we still have Thunder Wave, but we still need to hit Thunder. One of my least favorite moves in this game. Here it comes. Thunder. Perfect 
It does get the knockout on Slowbro, however. So that's a plus. That's a huge plus. What will the next Pokemon be? So all we have all we have left is a full health Raichu and a slow poke at seven HP. I'm not exactly loving our odds. And then the Starmie is going to go for Hydro Pump. Alright, right you. Let's get a crit. Ooh. All right, that's a fail. Let's try it again. All right. I'm gonna open with Raichu. I'm gonna put in Graveler this time. And... I need Slowpoke. I need that resistance against the Psychic Attacks. Alright, he opens with Slowbro. We know he's gonna have Amnesia, so we need to strike and we need to strike fast and hard. I'm thinking even with plus two on Amnesia, we should still get the knockout with another Thunder. Let's see. Yes, that's perfect. <laughs> you definitely want to attack the Slowbro first. Don't worry about status, don't worry about a level up in stats. Definitely attack that Slowbro first. Now I'm going to switch to Graveler. What I should have done the, the last time. <coughs> Alright. It's Jinx. Could have some ice moves. I'm gonna put in Slowpoke. We now know all three of their Pokemon. Oh, Reflect. So we're gonna get that first turn for free, but it won't matter since we're gonna be slower. At least until we use Thunder Wave. Oh, we're gonna get Seismic Tossed. That is fine. Oops, it's paralyzed. It's gonna it's just gonna keep seismic tossing me, so I'm, I might as well just go for an amnesia. We can survive two more rounds of Seismic Toss. Neither one is conceding an inch. It still won't attack. What's this? There, it's a hit. Thankfully, we can't get credit off of Seismic Toss either. Fireworks are flying in this battle. All right, let's ride that surf. I want to do some big, 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 big damage to Jinx. That'll definitely give Raichu some help. Or Graveler. I can knock it out with Rock Slide if I want to. Yeah, let's put in Graveler. We're going to have the type advantage on both Jinx and Magneton. From here on out. Definitely Rock Slide. Beautiful. And that'll knock out Jinx. 
And that big black box, by the way, for those of you who are new to the series, is a glitch from the emulator and not the game. So just so you guys know that up front. We could self-destruct right now and take out Magneton if we want to, but I think I'm going to go for Earthquake. Ooh, double team. I'm actually glad I didn't do the self-destruct. Oh, come on, Graveler. Ugh. That's pretty much all he can do, though, is double team. Eventually, he's going to get hit. Eventually, he's going to get hit. Alright, strength. I forgot, Magneton is not a steel type in Gen 1. So it's not going to have the high defense that it's going to have in later gens. Oh, we gotta hit this. That's all it can do pretty much is double team. Supersonic. I missed it, Supersonic. Yes! Oh man, that could have been a disaster if we kept on missing these attacks. And then we start getting confused from Supersonic. That easily could still cause me to reset. Uh, but thankfully we don't have to worry about it. We do defeat the Psychic. We win the Trainer 3 battle. And now we get to challenge the bald riddle master himself, Blaine, the gym leader. Alright, he's got three fire Pokemon. A Chansey, a Tangela, and Parasite. So two grass types. So Machamp can cover uh, the grass types with... Machamp and Dodrio can both cover Tangela and Parasite. Because they both have four times moves. <laughs> and then Golduck can cover the... Uh, the fire Pokemon. And then we have Machamp that can deal with Chansey. The question is, who do I want to start with? Because I have a bunch of options here. I think I'm going to start with Slowpoke. I'm going to put in Machamp for Chansey, and I'm going to put in... Dodrio for Tangela and Parasect. All right, here we go. Slowpoke's Slowpoke's kind of a utility Pokemon I have to uh, facilitate speed advantages and special boosts with. Blaine opens with Magmar, but he's recalling it and putting in Chansey. Okie dokie. I don't know what chance he's gonna do. 348. Okay. I'm gonna put in Machamp. This chance is, is what I brought Machamp in for. Ah, oh, Fire Blast. Hopefully we don't get burned. Oh, we get critted! How will this the okay, low kick. Oh, uh, that's not good. Oh, it's Charizard. Charizard. He shows all three of his Pokemon before we even land an attack. Thankfully, Charizard can't learn Thunder Punch. In Gen 1. Thank goodness. So I'm going to put Slowpoke back in. Flamethrower. Even if we get burned, it's fine because... We're an all-out special attacker. We do get burned. Okay. 
What now? There's a big difference in HP. Alright, surf's up. What's that? Perfect day. What a flash! Hit the weak spot. Oh! Is it down and out? The next Pokemon is being trapped. Yeah, we're gonna have to go with Dodrio. And I have nothing to deal with Magmar. It's two Pokemon against three now. This battle is still up in the air. We can run a sub. It created a sub Our sub has to survive the first turn. Okay. It's paralyzed on the spot. Definitely take that. What a furious battle. Uh, try attack. I just prefer the accuracy on that more right now. What's this? A decent hit. Oh. Sorry, Charizard. Thankfully, we did try attack because we're going to fly right behind you. You'll miss your move and then we'll knock you out. Provided we can actually hit fly. What will it do? <laughs> Look at our flying substitute. <laughs> That's amazing. Here, comes the aerial attack. Here we go. There, it's a hit. It's Most importantly, our sub is still active. Which Pokemon is coming out? So they could put Chansey or Magmar back in. Alright, so they do decide on Chansey. My concern is that I can't afford to lose. Dodrio at this point. If I can get a crit on Chansey, that would be amazing. And it has Ice Beam. Broke our sub. Ooh, Tri Attack did way more damage. Okay. <laughs> Problem is Magmar. I have nothing to slow it down with. Try attack definitely works a lot better against Chansey though. So that's good information. <laughs> and. On top of that, even more unfortunately, we can't get any sort of side effects from Tri Attack in Gen 1 Fire Punch. Yeah, it's a fail. Okay, he opens with Magmar. I started with Dodrio. Alright, now we're gonna switch to Slowpoke. <laughs> because I expect us to get Fire Punched. Psychic. Get our special lowered, so that's annoying. I'm gonna leave this thing in. What now? Get critted. He, he, le he leaves it in. Paralyzed. Neither one is an inch. 
so we'll be plus one in special. Charizard. Slash. Three HP. What's this? Oops, it's paralyzed. What a furious battle. Yeah, let's go for Sir. I could try to lower Charizard special, but Blaine will probably switch him out if I do. Yeah, and flamethrower. I need Dodrio for Tangela. <coughs> Machamp. I mean, we're gonna have to do it this way. Alright, let's go for a sub and hope Charizard stays fully paralyzed. Yes. Alright, try attack. Yes! Yes! Alright, we got the knockout on Charizard. That was crucial. Chansey. <laughs> Nice. I can't remember if the third Pokemon was Magmar or Tangela. Come on, let's get a crit. Chansey has high special. Alright, Machamp, it's all up to you. Oh, it's Machamp! It's one Pokemon against Karate Chop. The tenth battle continues. Soft boiled. It's restoring HP. Wow. What now? Hit the weak spot. What a furious battle! We need to low kick it. We need super effective damage. Alright, Chansey's gone. I forgot I paralyzed Magmar. Alright, let's go for Dig. Magmar's got Psychic. Ooh, it's fully paralyzed. If we can crit on this, we win. If we get hit by Psychic, we're screwed. Uh, oh! You're gosh darn right it does, Karate Chop. We're gonna take this one home. Yes! Machamp is the master! Superpower Pokemon! Earning us our Volcano Badge! That's it, Cinnabar Island Gym Battle Clear. Yes, we got the we got the turns that we needed.
thankfully we were able to get the matchup that we needed with Machamp versus Magmar, and then Magmar gets paralyzed on the final turn. We hit the first turn with Dig, the second turn to finish with Karate Chop. And that gets us to the eighth gym. Oh man, we're almost at the end. We are on the last gym. That'll be coming up in the next episode where we're going to take on the Viridian Gym and Giovanni. So hopefully you guys will join us next time for Pokemon Stadium Round 2. Hopefully you all enjoyed this episode as well. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications for more episodes. You can also follow me on Facebook at Zori Gaming for my live streams. I just recently did a live stream of Super Mario Galaxy on Switch, so make sure you check that out as well. So till next time, guys, you all take care, have a great day, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.